Alright, welcome back gang. Uh, just another quick video for you. Uh, doing some more experimentation inside Unreal Engine 5. Uh, doing, decided to resurrect an old character here to test this out. So I went in and uh, did some uh, modifications and stuff like that to the cyborg I did a few years ago. Uh, to which has a ton of detail on her. This one, this model is probably only doing about, is probably only about 4 million polys. So, uh, UE5 can handle it nicely. I'm sticking at about 40 to 60 frames a second on a GTX 1070. So, it can handle it quite easily. Lumen's turned on, Nanite's turned on. You know, we've got a couple of emissive lights going on in here. It's just looking fantastic. Now, the one thing about this model that you might find interesting is this is there are no UVs with this model at all it is all polypaint data uh, polypaint if uh, you're not familiar with zebras terminology is uh, vertex color and it's basically just uh, the the color of each point on the model itself and it's able to work quite lovely inside nanite I was uh, quite impressed that it was able to do it without much problem at all I thought maybe the streaming uh, the geometry streaming would uh, distort the the color and all that and it doesn't do it at all uh, I think the only part that uh, I got a little disappointed with was up here I lost a little bit of the the vertex color it's not as sharp and crisp when I was in ZBrush and I can show you that real quick here so we'll go over ZBrush here and let me pull up the whole model. And as you can see, I did lose a bit of information up here, but, uh, and I think that was just my fault. Uh, the, when I, I painted it, I had already decimated it down. So it wasn't enough uh, poly paint or it wasn't enough topology to hold on to that particular texture as it did in other areas. So that's the only thing that I could think of on that part. Uh, the downside with uh, just bringing in uh, a model with polypaint, you kind of lose some of your control. Uh, you can still apply uh, metalness and emissive and all that other stuff. But I, to be honest, I think it would be best if you can UV something and then send it over with a texture. And I think it will work out a lot better for you, uh, to be honest. But... You know, this is still early access, so they may improve on things. Uh, they may come up with a an uber uh, uh, vertex color shader. Who knows? I mean, I'm not an expert on making on making materials right now. So, especially if it's a node base, I'm kind of I know just enough to keep me out of trouble, pretty much. So, and I think uh, basically with this model, I'd probably. Uh, do everything in UVs with the exception of the skull cap itself because let's go back to ZBrush it's a very complicated model so let me solo that so we can take a look and as you can see let me turn on polyfill here you can see all the geometric detail in here you know they're all double sided and it's just a crazy amount of information and I don't think I don't know if there's any software out there that could UV this uh, and do a really good job. So something like this would probably be best suited for the poly paint or the vertex color and just uh, send it over that way. So, I mean, so you have options. You can work with it and, you know, send some over with just poly paint and send some over with UVs and textures. So, you know, you've, you've got a lot of choices there. And yeah that's basically all i really wanted to go over with you today um really enjoying my time with it making some really cool things and possibilities are pretty much endless with this and it's only in early access guys so it's just gonna get better so that's about it for today uh we'll talk to you in the next video you guys have a wonderful day